with smoking, but this is how I'm gonna try and revive these cells from now on. Today I'm gonna be tinkering a little bit with electronics. I'm very good at killing lithium cells, but I can also revive them. I usually revive them on the little collar. It's very simple, it's very easy, it's very safe. 21700 cell does not fit in the slots. So I have to figure out another way to revive them. This is just a donor cell. And I'm not gonna use it, it's fully charged. I have a couple of lesion cells here which are really good. I actually already tested 80 of these and everything was brand new, full capacity except for one cell. These cells are a little bit under voltage and I'm gonna try and revive them by paralleling them with another cell. Sure, you can do it with a fully charged cell like this. Uh, but it's not recommended, I like to have a little control. This is 4.1, let's see here, this is 2.1. So we will try and figure out how to do this. I'm terrible at electronics and physics, but I did some math. I don't know what to put in the voltage, because one is four volt, one is two volts, I guess. I just put three volts. And I want it at maximum around one amp, and then we need 333 uh, milli ohm and I'm not writing that omega symbol I write R and I found one uh, kilo ohm resistor and one 200 ohm resistor so I'm gonna try and see how they work I'm gonna try and place a resistor between these cells to control the current and um, I think I have everything I need to then I'm gonna build an automatic balancer. So I'm gonna place my donor cell here and we will just connect the negative side right off the bat. And I'm also gonna add a small fuse because I'm very careful. Two amps is the smallest I have. So now the negative is connected and fused. I really don't recall if it matters which uh, way you put this. I know it's not a diode, so current can go both ways, but surely it should resist in both ways. And let's measure the voltage. 4.15, 4.152. It's the same voltage. I still don't understand resistance, but I think there's only a voltage drop when current is passing through. And I'm also gonna use my multimeter to measure amps, milliamps. <laughs> Nothing is happening. At I want to measure the voltage at the same time. And these holders are perfect for inserting probes. Almost. 2.15, nothing is happening. So I will remove the multimeter. Nothing is happening, this is boring. So my last guess is that the resistor is a diode and we want the current to flow in one direction. Still nothing. So we can still troubleshoot. Is the negative connected and the fuse is not broken? Or it's going super, super, super slow. I actually have 2.2 volts. 2.21 volts, so maybe it's working. 4.16. 4 4.16. 4 4.16. 2.21. 2.21. So I think it's going up, but it's going very, 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 very slow. So, reach a higher resistance, it should, and it should probably go even slower. Two, two, two. Four, sixteen. Four, sixteen. Two, two, two. Let's see if I can find a better resistor. Yeah, I do have found three other options to do this, and for me, not being an expert or even a beginner, uh, that's fairly good. 1000k. I think a resistor is gonna be way too slow. So here we have power resistors. 
but I think they are pretty high. That one is 1000, 10k, 50k, it says maybe 120. Yeah, 120, that we will try. 50. Nice. And I also thought of another thing we could add a potentiometer because that's it's that is a variable resistor. And we're gonna try them last because I don't recall how you are supposed to connect them. So I have to look that up. Yeah, when I connect it the voltage goes up. Nice. That's what we want. We want the voltage to go up slowly. This was uh, the right way to do it. A really low value resistor, but I think it's going a little bit too slow. This is super safe, but we are gonna try. Now this was the 120. This actually works. It takes a little time, but it's worth it. I would probably go with an even lower value. It was 50. So maybe in the 10 to 20 range. So, and I will redo this so it doesn't have as many wires. I will test the potential meter though. Know. This is supposed to be a black wire, but I couldn't find one. Where did this go? Oh, it's smoking. It smells burnt, uh, so I'm gonna quit this experiment probably did something wrong uh, but I'm gonna redo this with a resistor that seems the safest way to do this even if it's a little slow I will try and find a better so I don't need any wires perfect And it looks kind of silly, but you're gonna see where I'm going with this. So now we actually built a device that can save cells. Maybe we can add a multimeter as well. Why does this one have three probes? Digital voltmeter. Let's see if it works. Never tried. Oh, it might be for higher voltage. From what I know, most electronic runs on other 3.3 volts or 5 volts. I don't know if we have any voltmeter that can work with the lower range. Uh, as you can see it's trying to start up but it's just flickering the voltage is too low uh, so we can't add a voltmeter but of course you can probably find something for 3.3 volt on AliExpress if you wanted to add it maybe we can add an LED so we're gonna try and connect a blue LED because that one starts working at 2.5 volts the long leg is the positive Let's add it with the fuse. Now we have a blue LED that might turn on. Okay, let's see if we start a fire. Turn on very bright. So let's insert this one. And exactly, it's slightly under 2.5 volts, so it won't turn on. Nothing is smoking. 2.37. I think I actually made something of electronics that works. It's still I'm gonna clean up here a little bit and let's see what happens when it goes up to 2.5. Maybe I will add a uh, 
low voltage voltmeter to it in the future and this goes in the trash yeah, I do watch a lot of electronic videos like Red Scott but for some reason I never learn anything but I've learned enough to build this little contraption come on yeah, it's very slow I will probably get another power resistor I think one of these might actually work so let's try it again and now it actually lights up pretty well there's a nice blue color so when it's turning blue it's 2.5 and then you can charge it at another charger it's super slow and nice and it's only down 4 point it's not down at all so you can use the same cell for many batteries and when we turn this off for some reason the voltage goes up a lot and it's super bright I will try and add this indicator. I need to connect all three wires to do so. To do so, this is the measuring voltage, and we need the full voltage, which is gonna be red, and we're gonna have that mesh that in there. Uh, now it's actually drawing power from the fully charged cell while measuring the low voltage cell unless I connect everything here improperly and this one actually runs on 4 volts yes it does and it's measuring 3.19 because of the resistor so we know the LED is getting 3.19 I'm going to put this in here we have 2.37 so we made it both an LED an indicator nice all we need is a timer and a little fm radio and we have something for the apocalypse so <laughs> i'm pretty happy with myself it usually doesn't turn out to be fully working but this is how i'm gonna try and revive these cells from now on but this is how i'm gonna try and revive these cells from now on